Hey everyone, my name is Megan and this is Painted and Distressed. Today we're going to be making some fabric bunnies that are super easy to make. I hope you enjoy. So I'm taking this fabric that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm just folding it inside out in half so that way I have two pieces when I cut it. And then I have this metal bunny cutout that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to use this as my template. I'm not exactly sure the size, it's I, roughly about 10 inches tall and um, I really liked the shape of it so that's what I used and then I'm just using my Cricut fabric marker and then now I'm just gonna cut it out and this was before I found the most magical fabric scissors on Amazon and because the scissors I had these scissors were so hard <laughs> I always had so much trouble cutting fat even this this uh, thin fabric this is just a thin cotton fabric and it, even with this I had trouble so I'm so glad I found the perfect fabric scissors okay so once I had that cut out then I just hot glued now these I am using fabric hot glue you can use just regular hot glue this is just what I had in front of me so that's why I use that and I am leaving about a half to an inch from the seam open <clears throat> and as you can see I am hot gluing all the way to the bottom leaving just the bottom open so I can stuff it now it took me about three or four times until I finally realized that well even the first one as you can see I started ripping it open because I shouldn't have done because you it's very hard to stuff the ears so I would recommend only gluing the ears first so you can stuff them and try not to shove it too hard because then your seam is going to come undone like mine did <laughs> so learn from my mistakes <laughs> and also wait for the glue to dry i did not i just immediately went in and started stuffing these so rule of thumb make sure you do wait for the hot glue to dry as well and do not glue the entire things. And you know, this is my first one and I still didn't learn my lesson, you'll see in a minute. I, I still continued to <laughs> glue the whole things. I don't know what my problem was. So for this particular one, I just took my seam ripper and then I just frayed the edges. That's why I left a little bit of room. And um, I just wanted, even though I loved this fabric, I think it's so pretty, but I still wanted a little bit of a rustic look. So that way it went along with the carrots that I made in our last video. And then with this fabric, it's also from Hobby Lobby. And this is the same fabric I used also for the carrots. I, I just, I wanted everything to match and to go together. And I really like this fabric. This is more of like a cotton linen blend type thing. So it's a little bit of a different fabric um, and a different texture. And that's what I tried to do when I pick out my fabrics, um, especially if I'm making something that's going to be a set or something. I like to have different textures because I think they all kind of flow a little bit better together, if that makes sense. <laughs> so I just did the same thing, just using the Dollar Tree Bunny cutout and just cutting it out. And then here I'm using the fabric glue as well. And again, you can just use regular glue, regular hot glue. You don't have to, or you can even hand sew these. These would be super easy to hand sew as well. Um, but, and see, I did not learn my lesson. I am still hot gluing all the way to the bottom. You know, I, I have no excuse for this. <laughs> and then this material, it's a cotton one as well, but it's um, it's kind of a, a slicker material. I don't know if that makes sense. It is cotton, but it's um, it's it's a lot thinner, and it's um, than the other two. And um, but I really liked it, 
and it does give a little bit of a different look as well. And then for these two bunnies, I'm using some drop cloth. And I get my drop cloth from Harbor Freight, but they also have it at you know Walmart or Home Depot. And as you can see, so these are the fabric scissors I was talking about. And this is cutting through two pieces of drop cloth, which is a very thick material if you're not familiar with it. And these scissors cut right through it perfectly. And I didn't have any issues like I was struggling with before. And so they are linked down below if anybody is in the market for fabric scissors or good quality strong scissor because these work amazingly. And then for this gingham, these are um, fabric napkins. Well, they call them napkins, but I mean, I call them fabric. So, and I got them from the 99 cent only store. And I just thought these were really pretty and would just kind of add to the little bunny collection. And these are a linen as well. And I can never pass up gingham or buffalo check <laughs> no matter what oh, time of year it is <laughs> so then with these I finally learned my lesson and only glued down the top parts first so basically while the drop cloth material was drying then I went and hot glued the gingham and only hot glued the top parts and then worked my way down as I was stuffing it much better way more efficient and I just use old pillows for my stuffing you can even I've even used old dog or cat toys as well for stuffing um, polyfill I feel is so expensive so I just I, I don't like purchasing it. I always seem to be able to repurpose old pillows or find pillows or I don't know stuffing some way or another so that's what I do. I mean you can even use yarn. You can just fill these with strings of yarn or ribbon if you have leftover. It doesn't really matter. You can even stuff the bottom of these if you wanted them to stand up. You can stuff them with rice um, or you know beans or something like that. But I, I didn't want mine to do that. So anyways, now these fabric scissors came with pinking shears as well. And they're really heavy duty. And so I decided for a couple of the bunnies, I was going to give them the cool little zag, zigzag trim on them. And I like also that it just kind of gave them a different look. So each one wasn't the same exact one. And they all had... They all flowed together, but they all have a little bit of a different look. And then for the drop cloth one, I took some sandpaper and I am just fraying the edges this way. And I really like this method because it's, well, it's very easy to do. I mean, this material really likes to fray anyway, but with sandpaper, it makes it, it gives it a really cool fluffy frayed look that I really like. And then to finish off our bunnies, I decided to wrap some twine around them. So a couple of them, I just wrapped some twine around the underneath their head, I guess, and then made a bow, which you'll see in just a minute. So to make my bow, what I did is I just took this twine. It is from Dollar Tree. And then I just kind of decided what size I wanted and then I just kind of wrapped it around a few times so I didn't have to actually because I wanted a thicker bow and so I didn't have to actually like make a bunch of bows and tie them together so I just kind of did that and then I just um, took another piece and then just tied it in the center I really hope this makes sense but it made for a very very easy bow and it was actually even for once because a lot of times my bows are a little wonky so <laughs> I um, just kind of came up with this as I was going and it worked and then it was actually straight like I said for once
and then for a couple of the bunnies so I'm making these bows also and I just wrapped them around my fingers a few times and that was another super easy way to make a bow as well and then just tying down the middle and um, I really wish I would have thought about this over the holidays because I made so many bows <laughs> this would have been a lot easier but and then I just decided to add a couple bows to make them I guess look more feminine I don't know to the ears on a couple of the bunnies and then I just added some little button a button to each of the bows in the middle of them and then that was it guys this is super easy super fun and look how cute they are and I just I love these and these can be these can stay up you know th all throughout spring I feel like and then those are also the carrots that I made in the previous video how cute are these I love these I I could have made so many more <laughs> they were so much fun but I thank you guys so much for watching this video and sticking it through to the end and if you're interested in seeing any more of my videos you can click here to watch some more and I will catch you guys on Tuesday for another super fun and quick and easy video and thank you once again don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one bye